This training video is brought to you by SQL Server 2014 Tutorial.com. Today uh, we are going to be discussing how to create database objects in SQL Server. Um, primarily, I guess we are going to focus on how to create a SQL database, which uh, you should know databases are the building blocks of storage in SQL Server 2014. We are also going to show you how to create uh, SQL tables which obviously include you know fields and columns and records and rows. Now as far as how do you create these objects you can create a database and a table by using one or more of the following methods uh, and we will demonstrate all of these uh, today in our video training you could use SQL Server Management Studio which is also known as SSMS you could use Transact SQL or T-SQL and finally you could also use the template browser which is sometimes known as Template Explorer it's a really handy tool that has predefined uh, you know scripts ready to uh, rock and roll so so let's let's keep going um, now as for creating database using SSMS there are some important considerations so let's go over them first um, this is uh, you know for performance reasons that you need to have your data and the log file on separate physical drives and the reason for that is quite simple uh, a log file is typically uh, well it's always written to because this is where all your transaction go whereas a data file is is read and also written to so they do have different uh, mechanisms if you can put uh, you know put them on a separate uh, physical drive you would definitely notice a um, performance boost. Uh, now as far as production databases your recovery uh, model should be really set to full because the idea is that you're doing not only full backups but also transactional tra transactional backups so that's that's recommended and uh, here's a, here's another one that a lot of people miss that the auto growth really should be set to either megabytes or gigabytes depending on how big your database is instead of using a percent uh, you know if your if your database grows uh, if your database grows super fast you can run into problem using the percent option so now as far as um, what do we do in SSMS uh, th this uh, today uh, this video tutorial is going to be demo heavy so we're just going to basically you know discuss the topic and then switch to uh, management studio and show you in action so as far as uh, how do you launch SSMS well you go to all programs Microsoft SQL Server 2014 and then you select SQL Server 2014 Management Studio I can uh, show you I actually have it up and running already but uh, it's always good to know where things are I as you can see I have a few uh, versions of SQL on this machine and here's what you're going to select okay now once you're in there remember you need to collect uh, connect to the actual SQL Server instance uh, typically you know you may be running a default instance today uh, in our case we actually have a named instance after you connect you're going to go to object explorer going to new data, uh, databases and then new database and then also um, you know information like file location size and whatnot uh, so let me uh, let me show you this first so I'm going to switch here uh, again this is my uh, instance I'm like I mentioned I'm running a, a named instance so I'm going to go ahead and expand databases okay I'm going to right click on it and select new database and so I don't know what we're we can just call it uh, <clears throat> we can call it let's say SSMS um, demo I guess I didn't really uh, think too much about that but here essentially this is the logical name of the file okay this is the size so what I was saying is it's always a good idea to uh, you know Put something in there uh, if you have a some ballpark idea of what it's going to be now this is what I was talking about that um, you know uh, instead of doing percent you definitely want to select uh, a megabyte option so and one seems to be awfully low so let me just go with uh, maybe hundred megabytes okay and you can limit the file size if you wanted to I'm going to switch this to megabytes as well. So what that means is that uh, you know we are enabling auto growth. It's going to grow in hundred megabytes, and right now it's chosen. Uh, it's uh, selected to be unlimited, which is not not the best option, but uh, you know for for demo purposes it's fine. And then the last thing is that uh, the path. 
So as you can tell, in our case, you know, we're using SQL, um, SQL data folder for uh, data files. Uh, which is the first one and then uh, SQL log for the log file we are using the same drive but again uh, if this was production you would definitely want to you know separate these two some of the other options you can choose uh, <clears throat> in here I'm going to leave everything as is uh, you know there's no need in going in all uh, detail here and then I'm going to hit OK but before I do that let me show you that I do not have a um, SS uh, msdb here and here's the log file I don't have anything here so let's just see uh, let's just you know hit OK and see what happens but that what it's doing now is basically uh, you know creating the file and assigning the right amount of space to it this is not a super large database but nevertheless you know it does need to create the space for it <clears throat> and if I come here and I, if I do a refresh you can see that you know this da uh, this database was created if I go back to my uh, data files we just created that it's uh, it's May 12 950 okay uh, same thing here so so that's that's one of the easiest ways to create a database so but uh, another option is which is really uh, among DBAs this is uh, a more popular option is really how to create a database using T-SQL. Okay, T-SQL, if you don't know, is Transact SQL. That is how you do uh, manipulate your, you know, lots of objects in SQL Server. So let's kind of go through this. It is a little bit uh, cumbersome, but essentially you start the syntax with a create database command. Uh, you need to give it the name, right? And you're going to use the word on. And now this part, let me just highlight this part. This is essentially, you know, information on the data file, right? You can see uh, the name, which is going to be the logical name, the actual physical name of the data file, initial size in MB, which again is megabytes, the maximum size, and then the file growth parameter using percent or MB. And if you're paying attention, uh, what I was saying is you should really you know follow MB instead of doing a percent okay so that was the data file the next part is going to be actually similar information but this has to do with the log file okay again name file name size max size and file growth so that is the um, that is the format we are going to use so let me again switch to management uh, studio I, I feel like saying enter enterprise manager which hasn't been around for a while but maybe I'm, I'm thinking old school right now so here uh, <clears throat> I could obviously, you know, start uh, do a new query, um, and then uh, basically, you know, start typing away. But I'm going to be a little bit lazy, and I'm actually going to show you an existing script. So, in other words, I could come here and start doing something like this. You know, create database. Walla walla walla. But um, just want to make sure this is recording. Uh, but like I said, I'm going to uh, grab this script, which is already there. <clears throat> and again, uh, you know, you, you, the only main thing is you're using master database. You're giving it a name, which is uh, human R, which is, I guess, uh, you know, human resources database, uh, I believe. And again, uh, you can look at this information. Here, you will notice that for file growth, I actually use percent. Again, this is not... Uh, preferred but I've just put that in here just to kind of highlight how that works and everything uh, should look similar to what we just discussed in the PowerPoint the other 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 item is that here is the essentially the location and name of the file okay the data file and here's the name and the location of the log file so um, I'm going to just highlight this part and I'm going to hit execute and this is going to spin for a few seconds and that should create our database so now I highlight you can notice that we have one two three four four databases but if I go here and do a refresh <clears throat> you will see that my human R database is there now if I expand it go to tables there is absolutely nothing there but we are going to change that because that's the second part of the demo I'm going to show you how to create a table using uh, you know multiple methods so that's that's how you use T-SQL. Um, in fact, uh, before I come to some of the other uh, vital database commands, we are going to show you how to do the attach, 
contained database and some of the other things let me uh, let me highlight one more thing uh, which is the template browser so the way you invoke that is you go to view and template explorer and this is going to launch uh, another another window on the right side here so this you know if you have not used this this is an awesome tool it gives you uh, basically cookie cutter templates that are already ready, ready to ready to go uh, if I expand this database section here you can see look at that you already have some um, you know some things to work with I'm really trying to create a database so I'm going to select this one okay and right click on it and select open and let me kind of minimize this so I can show you this better so 